she knew little about her childhood. She had an empty, blank, cryptic nothingness instead of warm memories and a story about her origins that revealed who she was. Until her daughter brought a milk container from decades ago. That was here, no mistake. But how? What happened in her youth? Since childhood, Amanda Atkinson has lived in Memphis, Tennessee. That's where she went to school, graduated from college, met her husband, and raised Katie. She was unsure of her birthplace. Amanda had long been frustrated by her unique story. Amanda knew she had been an adopted child since she turned 18. However, at the age of 57, she was yet to know her biological parents or the story of why they gave her in adoption. Her foster parents, the wealthy Atkinsons, were loving and provided her with everything she needed. Amanda and them had a major fight years earlier. Amanda was adopted by her parents right before she left for college against their wishes. Amanda was relieved, not surprised. She finally understood why she never connected with the Atkinsons, despite her gratitude. Despite never being told, she seemed to know they weren't her parents. One question remained. Amanda asked about her birth parents and adoption shortly after the Atkinsons told her. The couple's response infuriated her. They glanced at each other and told Amanda they couldn't say that. They believed they could never tell her the truth. Amanda was furious. Why couldn't they tell her? Who were they to withhold the truth about her biological parents? She made a drastic decision after that episode. Amanda stopped talking to her adoptive parents. She ignored their subsequent requests until they gave up. She skipped their funerals years later. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. After that, she researched her roots for years. She visited all the local orphanages but was not listed. She found nothing in the library. She quit. She then met a life-changing person. She instantly loved her ex-husband Eric. Eric was Prince Charming at first, attentive, affectionate, and most importantly, he gave Amanda a sense of belonging. Even though she didn't know her parents, she finally felt like family. Things changed after Amanda had Katie. Eric became possessive, undermining, and aggressive overnight. Eric's deception shattered Amanda's world. She decided quickly. Divorced Eric. She realized he had used her weaknesses to trap her in their relationship. Amanda had Katie, whom she loved, but it hurt to let go of someone who felt like home. She resided there. Mother and daughter were closest. Katie knew Amanda had adopted parents and never met her biological parents. She started a project by herself. She vowed to discover her mother's origins. She visited all the orphanages and libraries like her mother. She found nothing. She found a clue while browsing one of the local history museums. One exhibit featured old milk cartons with missing child images. This was common decades ago and helped find missing children and raise awareness of child abduction. However, one milk carton showed her mother as a child. Her? Amanda's childhood photo albums proved her mother's identity. She asked to take the carton home and showed her mother. Amanda was in awe. Amanda Jenkins was her? The most surprising thing was that next to hers was a picture of Andy Jenkins, a kid her age with the same surname. Her brother. Amanda immediately searched Facebook for people her age in her area with that name. Finally, someone. She messaged him. He replied shortly. Amanda told her about what her daughter had found and asked him if he knew if he was adopted or missing. Amanda anxiously watched Andy Jenkins type. He concluded with several paragraphs. After reading it, Amanda cried. Brother Andy Jenkins. The milk carton kid was adopted. Unlike Amanda, his adoptive parents told him the truth. Amanda's adoptive father, Mr. Atkinson, employed their father. He was a troublemaker. However, his wife exemplified patience and resignation. She endured his abuse to keep the family together. Amanda's biological mother believed she had to endure everything for her children in that era. However, disaster struck. 
Amanda's mother disappeared mysteriously. Mr. Atkinson knew everything about the family and the father's problems, and he worried about the children's fate with that aggressive man. He was powerless legally. He took them from their father and fake adopted them with the help of a local orphanage. He and his wife took Amanda to give Andy a better family than his violent father. Mr. Atkinson was conflicted about separating the children from their biological father and taking justice into his own hands, even though Andy's adoptive parents told him the truth. He and his wife felt ashamed and guilty about what they did, so they never told Amanda the truth. Amanda sat down after reading this, wiping her tears. She contemplated much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.